All right, so Nikki is going to do this training scenario first. Uh, let's win this position outside pass pawn. So what do you do? Okay, so the computer says that you got to put the rook behind the pass pawn. That's that's the first step. Okay, so and you've already Oops. done. Well, well, why don't you refresh it? It looks like oh. you already have some moves on there. Yeah, why don't you refresh it? How do I do that? I'm sorry. I oh, yeah, it's, I guess resume practice. That's fine. Well, you already made a few moves, right? Oh, okay. okay yeah, that's good. Grab that's, it. that's fine. Okay. okay. All right. And then it says get a hint, but uh -huh. I, I've got to the part where, like, you got to walk your king yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, go with that. Let's go with that again, then we'll play from there. Because you know you're going to walk your king over, try to assist your rook. And then no, I'm not I sure. wonder why they don't even attack. I mean, to give you more of a challenge, it's weird how the computer does this. You go king b5. We'll, we'll, we'll look at that afterwards. Okay. It's just because, like, the computer knows, hey, I'm losing anyway. So, <laughs> Yeah, it should at least attempt well, it. Well, we can make it do something different. Like what, well, what? Yeah, let's do it afterwards. We'll make, we'll branch it. Okay. Um, you know, we'll make another branch. Why don't you just win this one first? <laughs> You've well, already. I can't. <laughs> That's the problem. But okay, so King D5. Yeah, You've had this position before? Yeah, I've I've come to about here. I've tried this and this both. Probably both are fine. I, I don't know. Yeah, King C4 is probably fine. Let's try this one. Let's see what happens. Oh, let's try this. All right. And then. This is where I start running to problems because now it starts annoying me and checking me. Like check, 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 check. Wait, let me see here. Okay. So, oh no, now he can't check me. Now I go here usually. Right, and you, and your pawn's covering, so you're making progress. Oh, they're gonna try their checks, but then again, mm -hmm. you have a very dangerous pawn coming. So, so now so, what? I, I've I've been taught that like when you have a passer, you push it as far as Pass you can. Pawns must be pushed. No, it's definitely tricky because the rook's trying to create sort of a fortress to not let your king in. So you're gonna have to find a way in. Yeah. yeah, they want the counterplay too. So yeah, no, it's not easy at all. Um, okay, now what? I think I'm gonna go with the strategy. Well, I mean, there's this, right? And then I was thinking this. I think just yeah, as you said, pass one. Well, see, it doesn't like it though. No, I don't know. What, I don't know what the red thing is for. It still says plus four on the top. Yeah, so I'll just go know. with that. It says, it says mistake. I don't know. It's just a question of how long it takes you, but so um, like yeah, now it's, tricky. it's definitely tricky. Um, so yeah, they're checking you. Where do you go? Oh, yeah. See, this is where I have problems because if I go here, I mean, I have to go there. That's like we're there. They're gonna get to check. No matter what, they're gonna check you a couple times, and obviously, you can't. You have to cover your rope. Let's see. Let's see what they do. I mean, yeah, you can approach it. Let's see what they do. Okay. Oh, they don't even check you. But if they did check you, you'd have to go back and guard your rook and then inch your way over. But okay, now. Okay. What? I think I should push again. Maybe. Probably okay. doesn't hurt. Yeah, okay. It, it seems that if you didn't push, then uh, Black would then ch try to check. Yeah, like come down here and start yeah. harassing us? Yeah. Okay, so so the consensus is... Well, we should... think of, well and, and let's go beyond moves right now. This is an important moment to go beyond. Like, I don't know exactly what the move is right now. It's more so I'm trying to find the right setup, right? Because mm -hmm. we can push the bond. Like, I don't know if it makes a huge difference. A6, A7 probably helps on A7. Um, if it's on a6, it might help anchor the rook on b7, right? Like rook b5, rook b4 check to b7. So things like that are worth looking at. But at any rate, right now, I think about the setup you want. So for example, do you oh, need f4? What's the setup? Forget about the move right now. What's your dream setup right now to try to win this? I'd love to have my king like right, right in like the, right into like f6 so I can gobble those all up. Yeah. The if, rooks if to be gone. Get, right. If you can get over there, how do you get there now? But in the interest, if you think about it, actually, does it really help you to push? Like, yeah, their king has to probably go in the, mm -hmm. on the corner, but they're also looking at your pawn. They're not looking at, they're not threatening your pawn right now, right? You can push That's them. true. Yeah. So it might cost, it might cost you time, interestingly, because if you push, they move, that cancels out. But if you don't do anything, they have to spend two moves where you don't do anything. See? Yes. So that, that actually gains time to ignore that. And they're going to have to deal with it all, all eventually. Okay. So the question is, and you've de you've utilized your decoy your decoy pawn so far to make their king go to the left and the queen side, which means you may have a free hand on the king's side. At least it's at least it's more likely because you can gang up on him with your king and your rook against only a rook and the pawns. So anyway, the question is, you want to get in there? Okay, try to find the right setup to actually make it happen. It's certainly it's difficult. How do you think you're gonna actually get to like f7, for example, or f6 with your king? Or well, you have to make sure he doesn't like counter me. Um, but if I push this, then he comes down. Or even E3. Right, exactly. So pushing may not help you, right? 
you can already see the refutation with rookie three most likely that makes sense what's going to happen if you go there but again let's not let's not do the move yet I want okay, you to, I don't, I don't, once you have the whole setup then the then it may just play itself and kind of rubber meets the road and then you have to just adjust accordingly but the key is that you know your setup right so do you want your king coming over do you want you want to play a four probably not we saw where is your rook on a4 going to go? Is it going to go to f4, a5, b4, you know? So I want you to think about your setup first, and then we'll look at your candidate moves. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> at this point, I'm very much leaning towards, like, d3 with my king, um, mm -hmm. or even pulling the rook back, maybe, so he has more flexibility. No, he's good there, I think. Well, your king, yeah, I agree. Certainly moving your king to the right is, is you know, moving toward the king's side is certainly, certainly couldn't hurt. That's a thing. Now, the question is now, where is your rook? And you get, it looks like you're going to leave your pawns where they are in a, in a way that they're not going to get taken, right? So you're ready right. to your pawns. So your king and your king could help that. Now, the question is, what is your rook on? Where's your rook going to go? He needs to, he needs to do, he needs to guard the pawn on A, and he also needs to, well, keep in mind, keep in mind, do you have to guard it all the time? You would Good like point. to. What's that? Good point. You don't have to because it could be a de decoy. But the question is, if you have something better, then you then you can hang the pawn. And again, it's going to take him a couple moves to try to take it, right? So force a, so if I can force a rook right there. So think about it. Keep strategizing. Right. But again, it's the thing about it. So that's part of so part of it is I want to bring my king over to the king's side. I want to make sure my I want to make sure I don't drop the pawns. I want to get to his half pawn. And and I can't abandon the A pawn at the right time. But the key is, what is your, you know, your king's going to move to the right. What's your rook going to do also? And, and then you work out the time. I'll be right there. All right, Lee, I need your help. I completely thought that like A7 was the way to go because it gets them totally out of the way. But I'm going to take David's advice here and um, just leave him be. And maybe thinking maybe the rook down to like a three to try to force a trade but he's like super annoying and he checks all the time but i guess he can't check if we're if we have the rook on a three and we try to force a trade he might just come under hmm it's a pain in the neck i'm thinking like zun what will he do he'll come down here probably Uh, I'm not sure. I don't like it. Maybe. Um, this looks kind of dangerous, but maybe we guard the one that he's, oh my God, I'm so confused. <laughs> I feel like this should be so easy. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I was thinking I'd like to trade the rooks, but what mm -hmm. if he does something annoying? Okay, let's think about that. That's a concrete. So you're trying to where are you trying to move the rook to? We well, have two. You have a few options from a three. That's interesting. You well, no matter what, you need to increase the mobility of the rook. So the question is, does your king because your, does your king come now or after? Now you want to go to f three, as you said, maybe e three. If you could trade the rooks, though, yeah. If you trade the oh, rooks, yeah. you're, you're, you're going to win a king upon any. You want to get that, of course, if you can. The only thing is when you go rook a3, he doesn't look at their candidate moves. They don't have to go rook e2. Where else can they go? Um to bother you. Bother me. It's gonna check me. They have a check, doesn't really do anything, right? You just approach. What else? Um think about it. if you had black, what would you do? You're trying to go after the think about what black wants. It's similar to rook e2. They're trying to bother you down there. What's another way they can handle that? Right, you gotta think about that move now, because now you don't have rook f three. Although you, yeah. then you have to go like probably uh, either back with your rook or f four. Yeah, you go rook a two or f four. 
So, I mean, I mean, after if you go rook a three and then go rook f five, you're gonna have to adjust that, I guess. Um, yeah, so you have to you have to reckon with that. Um, maybe it's still possible, or you can always go rook rook a three, rook f five, f three. Yeah, f three or f. So you have that. Now, if you bring your king over, as you said, then you can meet. Oh, king d three for king d four allows rookie two also, right? That's annoying. Mm -hmm. King d three. You just really have to. Look, you just have to make a calculation tree. Say, if I go king d three, where do they go? I go king d four. They have rook f five or rookie two. I go rookie. I go rook. Same thing. Rook a three. They have rookie two or rook. But if rook a three king, rook a three rookie two. Where is your rook going to go next? What are you trying to achieve with your rook? Hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to. Oh. I just made an error. I can make a calculation tree over on the right too. Oh, that's so cool! I'm like, oh, right there. <laughs> what would you? Uh, what are you going to do after uh, rook a three, rookie two? Okay, rook a three, rookie two. Uh, probably. Right. Uh huh. That's where you go, right? You want to go there. You oh, okay, yeah, there or you maybe... about it. I mean, again, like I don't know for sure, but at least it's a candidate move. You yeah, make, and then... you make them react. And what what will he do? Um, would he come after the other pawn? But we don't really care, do we? Which pawn? A pawn? Yeah. You want the F pawn? Yeah, we want that. If you're after the A pawn, then these get weakened. Okay. But the question is, how do you? Yeah, again, you know what you want. You want to go after the F pawn, and you don't want them. So basically, right now, you you know the A pawn is a decoy pawn. If you can promote it, great. You're probably not going to be able to anytime soon. You know that's always in the, the cards. In, in the yeah. cards. But you want to win the F pawn slash invade slash trade rows you know one yes. any one of those things will be beneficial for you absolutely Not using your own f-bomb ideally yes so, then it's just a matter of how you kind of move right move eastward i guess so is it king d4 king d3 rook a3 maybe rook to be rook b4 check that's about it maybe right that looks like about it so you have a few candidate moves right it's rook you said rook a3 that's very interesting you also said this i like both these possibilities again i don't know if they work yet we have to analyze yeah rook b4 those look like your main moves right yep yeah, I'm, I'm definitely liking moving the king over. With that sign? Um, and like maybe hiding in between my pawns somehow. Your king? I don't know how yet without being like checked to death because sometimes he's just like, like annoyed, like a lot of times. I tried it a lot of times. and Right, right. And that's where you need your rook to meet the So for example, if you're able to meet, and interestingly, again, probably even if you have the ugly double F pawns, you have to calculate the moves, but you might even win that. I think you do, because despite the ugly double f pawns, if you win their f pawn, you still have it. You yeah. still have f pawn coming, and that should win. Okay. So the key is, you, yeah, if you get to meet him with f four, that's the thing. So rook f four could be very strong, actually. So keep that in mind. Can we achieve rook? Well, again, they're probably gonna have to go rook back, which is which is probably not a bad thing because then it's becoming more passive. We can think about how our king can mobilize. Yeah, we have to, we, and sometimes what we can do is we can adjust course, right? Like maybe it doesn't end up working. We find a new way in. But I mean, look, we're starting to gain ground, you know, starting to move toward over toward this way, right? So try to make that work if you can. And move, and, and then, you know, and again, like the moves don't matter as much because maybe you try one thing, it doesn't work. As long as you don't do anything like that permanently damage you, damages you. Like let's say you give away your A pawn. And then it doesn't actually achieve your, you know, they can hang on, they have time to bring the king back. Okay, then they might hold. But obviously, in most cases, if you get if they take your A pawn, yeah, in most cases, you're, you know, as long as you're getting to the king side, you should make it in time. So yeah, but so you have your concept in mind of moving, just trying to get to the to the right. You understand what they're trying to do against your F pawn. You need to find a way to meet that maybe with your rook or your king guarding it, slash counterattacking them. And now you just try it out. And then we actually look at our moves now, right? But that's do you have any other concepts or is that kind of a few things you can already work with? I, I had a third one, but I don't uh -huh. think it I don't think it works. So it, like I was right. thinking about shoving up my pawn, but that I think doesn't uh, work. With, with the G pawn, H pawn, or F pawn? I think in the okay. F pawn, but I don't think that works. Well, the only, okay, what's the drawback? Of, well, the thing is, you don't you could do it whenever you want. They're not really going to stop you. Maybe G5, I don't know. They're probably not going to stop you from playing F4. So you can reserve that, and that's on tap, right? Whenever you want right. it. So what's the value of... Well, why might you not want to play f four at, at any at any rate? Because it's just going to help him, I think. What is it? Well, think about your own ability to attack him, or or it. <laughs> How is yeah. that? Change yeah, yeah. It? It's okay. Uh, Sorry, one more thing. True, true. No, that's okay. Um, 
Yeah, couldn't, like couldn't the rook just go to uh having a like um what is that can't see a2 um, like down to uh like is that a a5 no it had to be h5 and then just take that pawn um let's wait you're saying white the concept of playing h5 for who no i'm yeah I'm, I'm saying that um if white plays um i think that's C four, I can't quite see. Uh, F four, the, yeah, the base of the pawn chain. Yeah, and uh -huh. then then black then the rook could just go to G five and attack the the white G pawn mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or H rather. Having some sight issues. Well, also, anytime you have the F pawn, we weaken the G pawn. But also keep in mind. Yeah. You we know, have two ways. Just like they, sorry. They have two ways to attack our pawn. We have two ways uh, to attack mm -hmm. their pawn. So we've taken away one of the. We, in other words, we probably overreacted to their ability to attack our F pawn, and we've taken away our ability to attack theirs. But as I said, you know, if we if we uh, calculate, again, not even really calculate, but we envision some scenario where they're on F five, we meet them on F four, or maybe we support on F three, but probably F four. We can probably even allow the double of the pawns. My point is that they're more concerned about us going work at four than we are about them going at five, as long as we're ready to meet them. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Yes. Yes. So that's a very strong idea. And the only the only thing now is if we get there, which we can, unless they have G5, but we're going to, yeah, they might have G5. Um, but then we can deal with that when it comes. You know, we can say H6 might be acceptable. And so, but uh, yeah, so so we can do that, a file pressure. And we can think about activate, but then the rook goes back, and we might we we can think about that. Let's say they go rookie seven, mm -hmm. hypothetically. Let's say we get let's say we let me deal with them, sir. And let's say you get to d6. You get rid of mine. Think about and then you can start making your moves on and think about what happens. Okay. Well, one thing that I, I keep running into a problem with is that I, I can never get my king over because he always leaves his rook like somewhere like super annoying. So like if he checks me from the top, like I'll go to the right, but he seems to like just chill on, on the e-file so I can't get over there. So some maybe there's a way to like force that. Like he'll just hang out like up he like here and then I can't cross over unless like, I think I think we have to go down maybe Or just attack him, and then he'll attack us, and then we don't mind that too much because maybe we go back and guard it, and then what does he do? Hmm. There are a handful right now. <laughs> okay. So, oh, sorry, I'll take away the arrows. So do you guys, what do you think? Did you find a path forward then? We have, so we have quite a few candidate moves, but most importantly, each candidate move is tied to a plan. Well, the, and then the plans can coalesce. And that's the thing about these scenarios. You know, you, let's say we talk about multiple plans. And, and I mentioned earlier too, this is even an option too. It probably doesn't work, but that's the thing too, right? Oh, you know, yeah. But then they can easily go. Then they have rook f5. Mm. Anyway, but that's a thing, right? That's possible. But really the main things are moving your king over in some way um bringing your yeah. rook either to f probably f4 slash um you know coming again coming this way so a few concepts like that and we may achieve one or two we may achieve maybe a mix of all of them or at least threatening to do all of them and yeah we may have some pawn advances too and as for them the main thing is we are thinking okay they want to take our a pawn which we probably we've thought about it and figured yeah they can probably allow it and they want to go after our f pawn and the more you push your pawns the more weaknesses you create you mm -hmm. know tie down g3 possibly and it blocks our effort. So we've pretty much, but the point is we've looked at all these plans. We thought about kind of counter plans that they might have or ways they can thwart us. And we say, all right, let's get started now. So what do we do? Where do we do king or rook, which is the most effective to move first? And again, now we make our concrete calculation tree and we think about what their best replies are or viable replies. What do you think? I'm liking king, but I know that he likes to chill out like and not let me get over there. Like he's going to do everything in his power not to let me get there. 
And that's why we're going to mix it up with the king and the rook, right? Okay. Yes. So, so where is your rook? Wait, you want your rook to go to f4, is it? Or where or you want it? And you want where, where do you want your king to go? I kind of I kind of want my king to go to D uh, D4, because it's the most forcing, maybe? Well, yeah, both are viable. Uh, that is a tempo. I mean, he's going to move anyway, but yeah, yeah. I'm going to go rook f5 anyway. Okay, let's let's look at a line though. Let's say you go king d4 and they go rook like, f5. Then what? Then drop the rook back to like a, um, a2. So two candidate moves. A, rook a2 or? Or. um. I mean, we saw f4. It's five. It's possible. We probably don't want that. We already looked at that. Oh, okay. Then maybe king e3. Right. We can guard with the king. The thing is, which one allows us to make progress? Rook, more, rook over or king over guarding this which one's going to make more progress uh, more quickly uh, we're going to find the most efficient path ideally especially if we're going to drop the pawn we still have to be somewhat efficient hmm. maybe which king e3 because we can hide in g2 maybe and hop right, gonna, well don't worry about hiding yeah sorry you no hiding right deal with it what's that i'm being a scaredy cat right, you can't you can't hide forever but <laughs> No, you're okay out there. And they can only check you so much, but the rook needs to mobilize. So if you get tied to this, well, again, I mean, then you can go here, but it's like, you're going to do it anyway, right? So you may as well, like you said, gain your tempo on the rook. Then you go here, but see, that's a plan now, right? It's a, yes. it's a, it's a plan. It has step by step. Now we do our steps. So they're probably going to hear, and they don't, and, oh, they can come. Oh, wait, they can't come there. Oh, my bad. Hold on. That's, we have to look out for that now. Oh, wait, well, that, well, you said aggressive move. And like I said, it doesn't really gain a tempo. So again, we look at it. We're like, okay, they have two options. Eh, I don't know about that one. Finally, we look at King D3. Say, all right, it doesn't gain a tempo, but like I said, they're probably going to move the rook anyway. If they don't, we're going to play rook at four. That's fine. Mm -hmm. They don't get rookie two. And as we looked at, if they go rook at five, how can we meet that? We could guard it, but we have another idea if we want. Um, and we push. can figure it out when we get there. What's the other main idea? Push it. Huh? No, we don't want to push it because we just got we just went over that. We don't want to push it yet. Right. That's very important to assess that though, to get a grip, to get a good grip on this position. You have to realize, like, look, I how do I reach I want to reach the F one. How do I reach it laterally or on the or well, kind of F file in front of the F one? Okay. So our swing team... So you want to have both open. F four. In other words, you realize F4 doesn't do anything for you really. If right. anything, we can C3. Yeah, so yeah. we say, okay, we either go king e three or we do rook f four immediately. But we want rook f four, right? Yes. So now we say, okay, I realize what I want. We've looked at that. How do we actually achieve it? So we look at both. What's the sequence then? Okay. So again, we look at what, what happens. King d4, rook e2. Is that good or no? No, I don't like it anymore. I like king d I mean, you'd have to play like f3 maybe. Rook g2 and then like g. No, then they're going to go after your pawns and stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if you get your rook to the f file, but rook a3, they have rook f5. Then you have to go back to a2 and it's pointless. Right. Again, yeah. that's be. So we have to be, but I can see how it didn't go your way because, because yeah, you have to be, when it comes down to it, you know, one, you have to have clear plans. Two, you have to know exactly what they could do with counter plans. And then three, you have to have very, you have to do a pretty precise calculation tree to yes. be as possible, anticipating their best moves. So anticipating their best counter plans overall and then their best specific moves. So yeah, it's tricky. It is hard. And, and it's super annoying that it says put like point like plus four. And you're like, what? Like, oh my gosh, I lost once. I think I drew like a million times. Or like I like got my rook trap. Like there's a million mm -hmm. bad things that can happen. Like in these. And then, and then you, look, you gain experience and you're like, yes. look, now and probably if you do the whole king hiding thing, it doesn't work. So all right, maybe it does. I doubt it though. Because you want uh, your king on f6. You already said that you want to maximize your forces, yes, mini not minimize your forces, right? So like, if I can make king f6 or king e7 happen, of course, I'm going to be there rather than g2 or h3, yeah. right? Unless you happen to be on g2. If you're already on g2, you're going to come out, right? Yeah. Like, you're just gonna find, yes, you're going to have to deal with checks. The checks don't happen forever, though, I don't think. Unless it's like your king is out and everything's open. And then you can, if any, if anything there, you're going to hide your, you're not, you're going to hide in their, in their pocket. On g2, yeah, that's right? right in there. Yeah. Make, make that happen. Okay. So you want... King D3 or King D4? I like King D3 so he doesn't go down to E2. Okay. And then when he goes work out, if they want work at five, if they don't, you might, again, we'll look at G5. That might be an option. We could probably deal with that. It kind of seems probably going to check me, but then I'll just, uh, if the more I could get to the right, the happier I'll be. Well, and then you can also block with your rook and something. Right. You just oh, move to yeah. the right. Oh, yeah. If they keep checking, hey, maybe you hide if you have rook at four, but you can block them. 
Mm-hmm. And ultimately, let's say your rook's on f4, your king has to hide on f3. Let's say it's almost like Lucinda's position where your rook blocks your king, and then you make <laughs> progress. Well, then they go back. We'll figure that out when we get there. But see, that's where we can. And again, we can always alter things, but we're making, but as long as we keep pressure and we have initiative, then it's not a big deal. But if we don't do anything, like if we go rook a2 or like king to hide, and then we don't have initiative, that gives us fewer options. So initiative gives you a lot more options. Okay, great. Right. That's so fine. But it's important though. King d4 seems like it's more of an initiative, but it actually probably makes your progress more difficult. Well, rook a, you have to look at rook e2. Therefore, you don't like rook d2. Therefore, you go king d3. Okay. okay, go for it. And then I was also thinking like, at some point we could always just throw this into if we need to. But right, if we need to, but remember that it costs, it actually sort of, you see how it doesn't gain time for you? Yeah, yeah. Because you, you make a move, they make a move. And then when you move your rook away, they take. So basically you spend a move on it, they spend two moves on it, instead of you spending zero moves on your pawn and them spending two moves on it. So you, uh, get, yes. you lose a tempo by pushing, interesting, ironically, right? Yeah, okay. Think, so I'm gonna go. Unless, unless, it, unless you know it's good for you. like. Like in some lines where your king is supporting it and you have like a mate threat or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's not going to happen right now. We can't do that because the rook is, that's the main, the main problem is the rook is so active. Yeah, I can't protect. Cutting, yeah, they have like a semi-fortress right now with the rook cutting out. So you got to deal with that. Okay, so where are you going? King d3? Okay. Let's try. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see okay, likes it. Oh my God. We're, hey. We got six. We got a point six. All okay. right. Let's keep making progress. Okay, so now he's trying to come after this. So, all right. Not F4. <laughs> Not F4. No, no. I just I just have my fingers. I'm sorry. Yeah, get your hand up the but Yeah, get my hand. I won't even touch it, I swear. I my, my, my students always make me nervous because they uh, <laughs> they touch a pawn. I'm like, get get your mouse away from the pawn. It looks like <laughs> looks like you're gonna move the pawn. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's, it's almost funny. like if you're playing a real game, your hands like hovering over. It's like you wouldn't do that in a real game, right? Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's the that's the kind of how the, the computers can spoil us, <laughs> give us that's- bad habits. Anyway, um, so yeah, keep keep pre- what's next? Keep pressing then. You keep making okay, keep pressing. Well, the question okay. is, do we hang our ape on yet? I don't know. But you gotta make progress. Not yet. Okay, let's see. Dun dun dun. Oh, that's interesting. Dun, dun. That's interesting. But it's either rook at rook f four or rook e four, right? Two candidate moves. Mm-hmm. And again, like for example, they take your a pawn. You have to reckon with that. You they take your a pawn, you take the f pawn. It's still three, it's three against two, but superior with peace placement. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm doing a class in a little bit. They're gonna come soon. All right. So oh, real quick about the hovering. Um, uh, my student, mm-hmm. that little that little uh I don't even know what to call him, little rascal. <laughs> he, you know, I have sharing, and so he knows because I hover. Like so he knows what I'm thinking about and what I'm gonna do when I play him because he's uh, like he watches it. So I, have to, so I I usually have the habit of not doing that, just like leaving my mouse here. But yeah, I still like tend to like hover around like what the plan is. So he kind of has an idea what I'm thinking. Or but, pause screen, just pause screen share. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, okay. Chance. So I don't know. Right. You gotta make progress. So you use your rook now, right? You can't yes. use, you you use your rook. So unless you have a way to move. But yeah, okay, what does your rook do? All right. Like, like I said, if you trade the F pawn for the A pawn, it's three against two, but you're a way better place. Should benefit you. Okay, so what are you going to do? All right. Um, block the checks, let him take, check him. He comes, wait, okay. Block, um, go. Hmm. I could try to force a trade. He right, takes. they're probably going to check you. Well, you can hide behind. You know, it's interesting, actually, speaking of it, I, I see an interesting moment to go a seven, but it may not be with the rook behind the bond. That's a little hint. Think about that in the, future, in the, in the future. Like if your rook gets to e7, let's say, if you like, you see what I'm saying, but that might be another prospect, but not now because you don't want your rook to stay on eight. That's the thing. You don't want it to stay on a4 because the only way you're going to win is if it does something else because your king is not coming in on its own. Right. That's, what you're, that's what you think about in terms of what do I need? What are my resources? I got to use my rook. Okay. Okay. So, so I want to go e4 here so I can head over here. Rook e4 or rook f4? Ah. Well, rook f4 has a direct threat. Rook e4 also direct threat, right? Mm-hmm. Which one? I want to go here so I can head over more. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, rook f4, the, either way, they can go rook e7, no matter what. So yeah, may as well. Okay. Leah, what do you think? Well, actually, it might make a difference. I'll tell you what, it might make a difference. Okay. In terms of your A, actually, it does affect your A bond. Well, as you said, you have, think about this. Think about them taking your, yeah, it affects where your rook can go. 
Obviously, he's a greedy. Like, he's a greedy guy. So he'd probably take it and somehow like okay, let's see. Out a piece yeah, of right. Money. Let's see if they get away with it. Like, if you go here, can they get away with taking this, or do you have a way to get their pawn? Um, I have a way to get their pawn. What's the tactic? The um the rook up check. Yep. And then the king has to step down, and then you take their f pawn. And the nice thing Back is that you're protecting right. it too. Right, right. Still tricky because the king yeah. cover, but that's possible. Also, that's rook. That's the rook e four line. Rook f four line. Yeah, like if they go f five, that's weakening. Should be okay for you. That's something to think about. Oh, what about that? Might have something like that. But anyway, um, so rook f four looks viable too. And then if they go back, they've taken away their eye off the a pawn. Hmm. Remember the concept of bringing your king in too. Make the rook move, come in, stuff like that. What if you have to go there? To go there, then go to g seven, attack the h pawn, double attack the f pawn. <laughs> so uh, attack it twice, right? Uh, not double attack on the fourth. But anyway, yeah, it's crazy. So, but rook f6 is also interesting. What about this idea of guarding laterally? See? So you have to think about all these resources that you have versus your opponent's, obviously your opponent's direct resources mm -hmm. or their attempt. But your resources, there's this rook f6 idea. Now, if you go to e4, you don't have that idea. So you're thinking about the difference there. But if you go to e4, you do have the resource of checking and taking the h, the f bar. So you see, I, like you have to weigh tough. out a lot. But, not, but again, now we get concrete. So we go rook e4, check, okay. then what? Then I'm, sc e3. Um, I'm scooching over. Okay, they want to save their f pawn. Let's say they go back. Okay. Then you start bringing your king in, right? Mm -hmm. But like there, I wouldn't even, I'm not even sure. Yeah, yeah, I like, okay, yeah, king, king f4 is, looks good. Um, yeah, start getting your king in, yeah. The only question is, it's really, it does, I think it might really make a difference. Well, the good thing about, again, this is important because you don't lose your a pawn yet. And again, like I said, yes, you can drop your a pawn, but, well, don't drop it if you don't, one, don't drop it if you don't need to, because it, it, it's an asset in terms of the decoy. So you use it as the decoy when you're ready. Right. right. You don't abandon it. Obviously, it's like you don't play rook here now. Actually, no. Like you wouldn't go here because they would just take it for nothing. And you don't have the special fork idea. I mean, so if anything, you'd go here. But yeah, so it's really rookie four, rook f4 seems to be. I don't see any other reasonable candidate moves except like waiting. And again, a6. See, that's when you're giving it up, but you're not ready to give it up. If you, because you're going to have, the problem with this is you're going to have to move your rook to make progress and you're going to abandon it for nothing. Mm -hmm. Right. So you let them waste time. Anyway, yeah. So which one do you want to get? Rook e4, rook f4. What do you guys think? Leia, feel free to. To cast your ballot as well. I might lay it or pick this one <laughs> because I'm still not certain. Um, I don't know. These end games are always so fraught. Mm -hmm. Uh. Um, I'm really not sure. It seems that if you try to move the rook, then the black rook will simply move in on the pawn. On the a pawn, right? Yes. Okay, so we want. So maybe then, if that's the case, maybe we should make sure that if he takes our a pawn, we get his f pawn. So maybe we should do the f f four. With the and again, and again, you have the rook f six idea. The only question now is f. But remember, similar to actually even worse, but similar to you playing f four, they don't want to go f five. Why? Because, well, their pawns are more vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And let me ask you this. If they play a five, what's a potentially an immediate refutation to exploit? Are they here? Okay, it looks like Diana has some, some, well, basically friends. Uh, grandma and grandpa are like their friends. So <laughs> they're playmates. So they're going to come hang out. Uh, let me let them in real quick.
So yeah, I, but I think F5, think about what what you're gonna do. How do you exploit this? How do you hit the pawn based on this structure? And then, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And if they don't play F5, again, we know we're attacking here. We know they have to go with E7, and they still want to give us the pawn. And then we have our Rook F6 idea, if we want, whenever we want. Or maybe you wait for them to go here, right? Maybe you wait for it. Or you don't. But then you, either way, you'll probably end up doing it. And then finally, you see the king idea? Yes. Because you drive yes. them away. It's kind of a, it's kind of obscure, but let's. I'm, I, I'm not 100% sure yet. But I think when the rook moves somewhere, then we're going to somehow, maybe we actually move our rook first. We have to figure this out. Oh, maybe we go here first. This is going to be a finesse. We hit them with here, they move away somewhere, and then we finally wrap around to F6, and then we should- Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the, the good thing is we should have time to figure it out when we get there. Like we might, it's the kind of position where hopefully we can make a misstep um, and still work. But yeah, we want to do accurate, but we might need to, because again, I was noticing there's some checks. We have to set it up, avoid the, no, we can allow checks so long as they allow us to get to F6. And yes. that's our, our chief goal, get to F6, and then they're toast. Well, okay. yeah, again, you could be here or here. And you can think about it. if you're on F6, you can also anchor the rook on E7. F pawn falls. So anyway, try to make it happen. Okay, I'll be right there. Yeah, feel oh, free to make yeah. some moves too. I'll be right there. Let me get left American. Okay. Let's try your move, Leah. Let's try the immediate this. So if he takes uh we take here, what will he do? He might check us. But if he checks us, the good news is, is that this is guarded by the rook now. So if he checks us, we could just head on up. And if he checks us, we could just head on up. Checks us again, we head on up. Oh no, my rook's there, sorry. Head on up. Bum, 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 bum. And then we'll be able to get them. So he can't do that. So, all right. So, okay. Rook here. What else might he do? Just go back and guard it. Then you said that we should just go here. Ah, oh, Jesus. So Rook F4, Rook E7, Rook F6. If we need it. We're not, we're not they're coming. We're not here yet. And then they're going to call. And then, but remember, then you got your, so again, what is the purpose? Ultimately, it's, it's simple. But in a way, if you simple, <clears throat> improve, maximize your rook, like that's the thing. Like I said, this maxim of chess, maximize your pieces, minimize your opponent's pieces. You maximize your rook, you maximize your king, you minimize their rook and their king. And you allow their king to come out and take it when it's fine for you, when it's insufficient. Because again, you know, my life when you say these little four things, steps away, you like so. them down. Hold What's up. That? I got to write it down. I like your sometimes you come up with some really good stuff <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I, no i remember i coach uh, i worked with the coach demo Werner. i am demo a german guy i am when i was in hungary speaking of hungary when i was doing the first saturday tournament he did some i uh, coached me in between a few lessons helped me with some opening prep and stuff get me ready for because you can definitely look up your opponents there and it, it's a closed tournament i think i played in two of those and one in keshkomet Kesh, actually fisher really liked keshkomet it's a beautiful little garden city uh out in the i guess kind of countryside area I think it's a mid-sized city, but anyway, um, yeah, so did some uh, opening prep there, and he said, maximize your pieces. And then kind of corollary is minimize your opponent's pieces. That's what I just remember. Maximize your I pieces. I like that. Minimize your, very simple. But then, yeah. you know, if you're playing a blitz game, like, just do that. You're going to be pretty well in blitz games. And minimize, and minimize also, they're not here yet, wait. And minimize means, you, you'll hear them when they come. Minimize means stop their, for their threats, too. Stop their threats now, stop their threats in the future, but in general, when minimizing their forces, you stop their ideas. But like, like in an opening, you're like, look, if there's a bishop on g5 and a uh, knight on g, g whatever, a knight coming into e5, like, you know, those are the pieces to look out for. You know, you want to minimize them or at least be aware of them. So it's not on b1 or whatever, a rook on or queen on d1, she can't do anything yet. You probably don't need to worry about them. So you focus on what matters, the maximized pieces, you minimize them as much as you can, and vice versa. Okay. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's try something. So okay. Try the rook f4 or rook e4. Oh, I like the rook f4. I like Leia's idea because I like the idea that like if he takes, we get this. Yeah, and this is important. Well, it's still it's still difficult, but the also you can make him push the h pawn if you want and fix the mm -hmm. g pawn. But the other thing is that your king is closer, and you cut off their king. 
Oh, that's interesting. Actually, make them push, then you might then boom, boom, come on in. Anyway, it's it's tricky. Who knows? There might be some draw lines here if we're not if we're not careful. Oh God, please no. <laughs> but, no, we're doing the best we can. It's yeah. just it's just the most direct move you got. Unless unless it's this movie here. But then they got Rick Essence. I think so. No, yeah. no. Wait a second. That's interesting though because if you go, it's worth looking at as a candidate move because if they go here, then you still get the same thing, right? Uh... But if they go to a a that's good. They go away from your pawn. But then let's say you still go there. And then they go rook f6. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and yes. then I don't know. Oh, then no, and then you're over. Otherwise, what I was getting at earlier is if you move your rook away, you could play a7 and hold it laterally. That's big. That's a big problem. If you can get that, it's done, basically. Because you then you really keep them there. That's when the, the decoy pawn actually keeps them. Again, you want to keep them there as long as you can, obviously. You know, because then yeah. you have to talk about some race. That's so, why I'm a little worried about them starting to run, even though you'll cut them off. Okay, let's try it. Rook f4. Let's do it. If that's, what, right. if that's what you want to do. Let's make it happen. Let's oh, do it. it doesn't um, like it, but that's okay. Okay, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. What the heck? Hopefully, okay. but we are, and we are playing the highest level stockfish, are we not? Yes, yes. That's pretty hard. The thing about this is like, if it has one little resource, that's the thing. Like, if you're playing a human, it won't find everything. This thing no, of course not. The tiniest error. Anyway. Uh, oh, and it okay. says... It, it says oh, it doesn't give us the kingy five ID anymore. Ah. And it says that A7 was best. But, but they've softened A7. things up. They've softened things up. Well, now, now the A pawn's hanging. We don't want it to hang unfavorably, right? Right. So I don't know if it's a guarded or if we can we can go rookie four, the rookie four idea. Well, the question now is can we wrap around to the softened pawns? I would be certainly like a hawk about that. I'd be hawkish about those A pawns. Uh -huh. Hawkish about our about our in a different sense i guess yeah what does he do I'm if we attack his rook there. what's that if we attack his rook he's just gonna like go back and forth on... oh leah's gotta go okay see you Leah. oh oh okay oh, well oh she liked the format she said okay good okay good and i mean it's a small group that's cool i mean yeah i'm sorry i will keep that way don't worry. It i won't keep you than five people doesn't matter eight people you got a lot going on yeah and... exactly so it's, it's we can okay. otherwise we crowdsource it more <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but Okay, let's figure this out. So okay. we're still plus three. That's still somewhat encouraging. Yes, definitely. But I guess it wasn't perfect according to the computer, but whatever. Well, okay. computers, okay. whatever. Yeah. So the question is now, okay, wait, we still have the rook before. Keep that in mind. It's very interesting. If you don't mind, I'll interject as well. Is that okay? Of course. I'll tell you how I'd approach it. Yes, uh, please. Rook, is that, rook rook I'm really <laughs> No, I mean a little bit, but rook before check can come down. I mean, throughout the whole time a little bit, right? I want you guys to find it. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't know for sure. Like, I don't know for sure. It's very complicated, right? I'm just, I'm just showing how I would think through it in terms of your candidate moves and your general plans. So rook b4, rook b7, or rook a4, simply guard, or challenge the rook. And if they want to check you, you challenge them again. Obviously, they still can't take because you have a decoy pawn. They have to move. And then we come in here or even check, wrap around, and possibly win a pawn. Oh, that could be good h5 come and win the pawn game over <laughs> so, yeah so i don't know so that's certainly promising all right let's, if, if let's, we can get there the cool thing is they don't have rook f6 anymore so they've taken away our threats on our f pawn mm, it's a threatening f pawn. that's a so good point we're gonna have to part with our h pawn our a pawn but do we get the h pawn or g pawn what's that oh no i was just thinking i was just agreeing like like so all right if we challenge him he's probably gonna snarf and then or we challenge him again then he has to move no matter what and then they're gonna snarf right then we have our check if we want, or rook d7. And then what happens? And then, like you said, like we could wrap around. Like he's probably going to come down and try to get our guys. But yeah, but we got that. We we are kings on d3 now. Just yeah. you can yeah. go rook d2 with tempo or king e3. They go rook a2, and then you hide your king if you want. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> matter now because we've got what we want. Okay. Check on a3, king g2, and then our rook's already in there. But remember, if we start probing in here, we can always fix it. That's very strong. Yes. And if oh wait 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 hold on they have f five though ah they have something I don't know what I'm saying what I'm getting at is again concepts con which will be pretty concrete but the concept of going here g five no 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 h five the point is you anchor the rook boom rook g six anchored in that should be good they can guard it with the king I don't know but point is they can't take so you take back they'd have to guard aha then we trade rooks boom 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 come in game over. So anyway, that's the concept, right? Okay, yeah. So the new first was to attack the F pawn. Now the F pawn's not as much our target. Now it's more so the G pawn, maybe. The okay. And the H pawn. That's pretty cool. So let's let's see if it works. 
Okay. If you went rookie, double check it, but you're like rookie four. If you have to, you go rookie A4. That's no fun. But then again, like, what's your progress? You come out, you're back. In, it's a slightly different situation, but it's like, you're going to have to go here anyway. So you may as well, yeah. unless you see, the only reason I would go to A4 is if I saw like some improving move with like H5 or whatever, you know, if I felt like I can improve them return. So keep that logic in mind as well. But mm -hmm. I think for very direct, you come in. I kind of like H. I like that idea with the H5, like creating more weaknesses, like says he has to push down, but maybe that helps him. No, no, let's just do oh, it. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. No, you know what it was? You know what it was? I forgot. No, I I, I, uh, I miscalculated. No, it's not G5. It would be rookie four takes, rook check, king up somewhere, rook. No, they do have F5. Never mind. Wait, hold on. So, for example, let's say, no, if they go G5, you win. I forgot. No, what I meant to say, the one I was looking at before that was problematic, is they go F5 now. And then they're guarding laterally. With uh. And then you go rook H8. Then they go H5. Aha. But then you have the opening of the king to come into G5. And then you probably win the bomb. <laughs> so, okay. 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 Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I definitely favorite. like that. I like that. Hold, okay. my, hold my breath. Me too. No. Oh, son of. No. Oh, my God. How could this be wrong? Wait, let's see what happens. Let's just All see right. What yeah, let's just do work. it. We'll, we'll go back. It seems promising. It looks like this well, should the, be in. Yeah, like I said, the F5 idea is tricky, though. Maybe, maybe the king's there in time. Oh, jeez. Can he walk over in time? Rook H, let's, we'll go back. Let's see, Rook H or Rook G? So okay. Rook G, they got to go F. Let's see what happens. No, let's play it out. Let's just see what happens. Okay. I mean, again, it's the strongest stock fish. I this. like Rook, you like Rook H? Or yeah, Rook, rook G, they, if they go G5, H5 is strong. But they probably go F. Maybe the king's close enough now. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Ah, that's so annoying. Let's just see what happens. So let's go okay. to Rook H8 or Rook F8? Um, H, right? H? H? Rook H8, H5, Rook G8, F5. I guess I didn't, I, again, it looked good to me, but maybe the timing is wrong. I like it. I, I, like have, it. I, I mean, it. I feel like against a human. Oh, it likes it. It likes it. Unless the king is just there. Let's see what happens. And then we go back over here. Okay, they have to play F5. Ah. Wait, oh, so we do. Like, I was just thinking they're going to try to go F5. And listen. What, what? Is it? They hang the pawn? What's going on? I don't know. I think they're going to hang oh, Maybe he's going to come down. He's going to hang the pawn. pawn. They're going to go rook. So they have some obscure defense. <laughs> I <laughs> guess so. What the... I mean, I feel like against a human, this might win. So you take the G pawn. They go rook A5, guard, guard laterally. And then they end up like, and then they end up holding everything because it's a three against two scenario. That's insane. That's really annoying. But can we just like. I mean, I guess it's sensible. I mean, like, I guess we're still probing, but it's just stockfish can easily hold this. So rook h6. That's the problem, though. You're up a pawn. Like, there's so many scenarios. I guess we let them off the hook too early by taking... And they scoochies around. You the a pawn. I guess it was the wrong timing to part with the a pawn. That's yeah, annoying. Exactly. Just see what happens. Just play it out. Just so okay. you can see it. So they go rook a5. And yeah, you just, now he's just, gonna you chill just can't over get there. in. You just can't get in. Yeah. I mean, like, you have the idea of going f3 here. No, I mean, I would still probe against a human, but I guess... Yeah, let's try it. I'll trust Stockfish. No, it's up to you. No, let's go back and try to find. Okay, one. okay. I trust Stockfish that it's that it's a draw because it's just that's gonna... super annoying because that's yeah. like really really um okay. So we were here, right? Was this where we were? Yeah. So this rook is... F4 was fine, I think. No, I what think... was fine? It was Rook F4, Rook. Back. No, it liked A7 first, actually. Rook says that. Yeah, it said it on the bottom. Okay. okay. Oh wait, I have to. How do I? Oh, maybe it was a different that? version where the king has to take a, instead of the rook or something. Oh, the annoying thing is, is that it says like it, if I have to retry, we have to go all the way back, like and do everything again. But I think we kind of know what to do, right? Wait, click to read. Wait, hold on, go up. Oh, why don't you just go to analysis? Just do analysis. Yeah, you don't have to play. Like, you oh, yeah, to, you can. Are you yeah, in just, here? Like, you do, do this it. one. No, do the analysis thing, the magnifying, uh, the the, the uh, microscope. That. No, no, go down. <laughs> like right below here, there's something. There's analysis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this guy. The laboratory yeah let's go work in the lab no because okay. that just make the moves yeah okay. okay so let's go where were we okay we and just, should okay, i keep this on just in yeah, case don't worry about don't worry yeah, about oh the thing it. no, no, we don't it'll, it'll, it'll force out let's just oh yeah okay fine but let's just play out some basic moves just to get a sense okay yeah because we I mean, said i'm that... not going to be giving you stockfish moves anymore <laughs> yeah <laughs> do my subpar moves. no it's it's you just know a sense. just give you a sense so can you three okay. we can always check with stockfish how about that yes uh rook f no, again, rook f5, rook f4. I think that wins. Right. What did he do? He came up. Did he come they went, up? They went. I think they went up. Yeah. Should I peek? Oh, did they? Did they? And what did they do? I think he. Yeah, he did. He came up. Yeah, okay, went up. 
Right, because we're going to give it up. And then it says... Okay, that, fine. We'll do the A7 line. So you're I right. Want, I, I, I want to. I want to try like, the way... Yeah, my yeah. logic was you don't need it yet, but I think it said the king has to take instead of the rook or something. No, I want to try it our way because, like, we're human. And instead, we were still okay. Let remember? Me see Wait, let me see here. Oh, maybe it's that the king would end up taking on A7 and walking into a fork if it takes in some lines. That's the tactical idea. I didn't see that. You see, I didn't look at that. You see what I'm talking about? So like no. if the rook takes, the king stays on B8 and he was able to come over. But the thing is like, let's say we hang, let's say when, when he's in the corner, when you swing over, if you want, when you swing over and you're trying to come in and trying to check and promote, right? Let's say you check, they make him take and then you check and you take the pawn. Oh, okay. The same. You, okay. The king, you force okay. the king to A7 in many lines. Whereas if the rook takes, he doesn't have to go to the seventh rank. Got That's it. Right. Okay. That must be it. Okay. So All nuanced. Right. Okay. Let's see. Oh, sorry. And then they have to go to A8. Don't worry about that. Oh, then, okay, fine. Let's just look at it. I, I'm only doing it no, because... Oh, no, that's actually what we did, right? Rookie four. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did. So, so okay. Four. I just wish it would okay. move, you know, because we yeah. don't know what he's going to yeah. do now. They check. They, okay, so what will he do? And I'm trying not to look they at this. Oh, remember, they check us. Let's just assume, let's just assume they check. I'm not going to peek They go the for A. the check. Okay. Then we meet them again. But look, if we move, then they have time to come back and take with the rook thereby simultaneously guarding this. Unless we have time to come in. But I think the key is that they have to take with the king. So the idea is that, yeah, we 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 want the key, we want the king to take, not the rook. Especially one thing it doesn't get to march closer. Mm -hmm. And two, because the rook isn't like so restricted by being over here, but the king is more so. And two, we want the king tactically to be there for the fork idea. So let's say we go here and they move. No, then we get what I was talking about. Then we get rook here. Oh, so okay, you're right, you're right. But there's this there's very tricky reason. But the idea is that then when you come here, you're already guarding, and which, which is basically a win. Very, very nice, really. A nice situation. Yeah. If you're attacking laterally, but you and they can't trade rooks again, of course, and you have the king coming. So right, they're right. tied down, and then it's just a matter, then it's a matter of time. Your king should be able to make okay. So let's see. So rook d4. Okay. Then what is it giving for? What is it giving? I'm assuming it's still winning. What is it giving for me? Uh okay. The okay, rook is going to go under. Oh, and there's the check and check. Yeah. No, okay. I, I wonder if you can. Oh, but if you play this move, you get more time to defense. Yeah, check and check, take the F. Finally, we get our F. -pawn. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So we so, get the F pawn that we've been striving for. We're going to do the check. Right. We force them. No matter what, we're going to get to. Um, what will he yeah, do? We're going to get to he'll even take it. I wonder. Oh, he'll take with the king. Okay. Yeah, he should take. I think if he goes rook b7, I'm pretty sure let's, if he takes, you can queen, take, take, and then you get there first. Pretty sure. Okay. Pretty sure. We have to Yeah, yeah that looks. Yeah. But anyway, at any rate, you can still do the same thing of check. Okay. Okay. Still the same thing, no matter what. So All we right. check him. We're they checking. They just waste time for them. And then what will he do? Okay. Actually, I'm even worse if they don't take, because then when they go back and you keep the pawn there, when you take this one, they definitely can't take because you need to have three against two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So then they do this, you take the pawn. But even here, like again, it's tricky, but I think my assessment was that it's he probably winning because the king is so far away. Because of our decoy. Yeah, now, we'll just walk over if he harasses two us. Might be, it was probably drawn with three against two. If the king's nearby, it's a draw. Right? Right. Because it's probably the... just far enough away. Oh, and he, I don't think, he, no, we can't go to B6 because then he gets skewered and take and you win. Mm, yep. So he has to go back again, which is very helpful for us. And then we take. Let's see. Let's see the assessment. Let's see what he okay. does. What okay. Happens. I'm going to peek and not look. Okay. Wait, which one's it thinking about? I'm just looking at the arrow. Okay. All right, yeah. so he's gonna go up. Go to the back rank, and you can see. No, it's obvious, right? It's obvious yeah, now. Yeah. So now to, and obviously we take, and obviously now we take the pawn. And, and I think our, well, let's see. I think the benefit now is that the king is so passive. Mm -hmm. Let's see what let's let's just see what happens. Let's say he runs the king, natural move, king c eight. Okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you remember. got that. Mm -hmm. And now the question is, should we start going after the pawn? And because remember the idea of trying to make him play h five to get your king into g five. Should we do that? Or what else? I mean, oh, the H. You, you mean H five now? No, attacking their H pawn to pro to provoke. H5 oh, okay. Let's and see. Thereby create the G five entry point. That's one idea. It's, again, it's all it's all a matter of timing now. Uh, you can start. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can start walking your king up. That's another method. You walk your king and play rook f six. That might be superior, actually. Uh, it's very direct. Let's see what. Okay, you tell me which one you prefer. Well, let's see. If you go here, no, I'm gonna do what what, what I'm asking you. Do. I'm gonna do what you said. Look, check this out though, because if you can get this, it's like a fork, right? Oh, yes. They check, and then you check. You can wrap. Or it depends if the king's there, but you can come back now. And then you hide your king, but then this is collapsing. No, I like your plan. <laughs> let's, let's double check. check. Let's let's double check. If you go here, okay. They, they go. Remember, they go here. You go here. Most likely, or, or you could just take, take, come over, take the farm pretty soon. I think. 
But you go here, let's say they go h5. King okay. over, king over, king in. If they keep moving the king, yeah, that should be good enough. But even there, it's complicated. Because now they're nearby, like a... look, they're nearby the pawn. If you want mm -hmm. to come after it, they can defend. You can't go behind. Okay, what about this idea? This is very direct. No risk. Right, you come okay. here, what are you going to do? And check. Now, if they start checking you, it can actually route. Yeah, you just walk up and around. And yep. you're going to win those pawns. And, and yeah. hey, look at the F pawn. Keep, that's why you want to keep it. Yeah. The... Yeah, yeah, so just don't mess with them. Game. So what do you like? I mean, it's very straightforward, right? And yeah, here's the benefit. The benefit of king e5 is you get there just in time. By the time yes. you get here, you get here. Can't trade, right? Correct. You can't come over. You can't hold the g-pawn, really. I don't think you can. Okay, let's do it. All right, I'm with you. Okay, let's see what he does. Okay, he's yeah. heading over. All right, let me yeah, just... Yeah, it's a winning. It's winning, yeah. King e5 is winning. Yay. So, finally, we get... Rick finally, up. yay! Flash okay. Mistake. Of course, I'm going to practice this after our lesson, and I'm going to get it all wrong. But <laughs> I hope that, like now, after practice, like with like a like a nice long lesson on this, I'll finally get this. It's very hard. And again, like the like little things, like you know, it looks like. Okay, I hear the I hear the sink on for a long time. That's not a good sign. Okay, uh, don't worry. I can let you go. Here comes okay. a one inch flood in the bathroom. Um, so That's, I'll practice this, and um, I will um, see yeah, you next no, week. No, 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 I'm going to be right back. Yes, yeah, so try to finish and finish it off. But you're really close now. But like the interesting thing though, because remember, no, I mean in general you didn't need to push yet, but there are certain lines where you do, like in that line, right, mm -hmm. right there, trying to find the rest. I'll be right there. Okay. Uh. Oh, don't show me the moves. All right. Um. What? Okay. Um. um. I hit a little snag. Uh oh, what happened? Um, no, it says you're still winning. Uh, I know, but like, I'm okay. I, this is it. No, no, this is it. You still got this. Let's come up with a new. Let's come up with a slight adjustment. Actually, you can probably take the pawns now, because because you're gonna get you're gonna take two one. and you're gonna get one. But I think you might have. Do you have a go? Yep, go. Do you have go? Do it. Do you have a F four might even be possible now. Yeah, the computer said this, but um. Oh, I, and then and then king over or something. I don't know. But what I, you, I, I bet you can take the G. You might be able to take the G pawn. Yeah, because so this is not a move I would have thought of. I would have probably done F four too. I mean, F four is probably viable. What if, what if you go? Uh, Rook takes G six right now. Yeah, let's try it. No, okay. it's what do you know? I don't know. But what if you do it? <laughs> it's worth looking at. 
Ah, it works. It works. Doesn't yeah. care. Here's the thing: if they take if they take F two, you take H six. I'm pretty sure that's a win. That's I gotta be winning. I mean, that's gotta be a win. Unless the, I mean, who knows against Stockfish? Yeah, let's just be like a normal human and just take this thing, right? Like that's a normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you take G, you take G six. They take F two. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so. And then right. you take H. Yeah, you're gonna get the H bond or whatever. Okay, yeah. No, he's not gonna. You're gonna no. take H six no matter what. They may as well take F two. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. All right. And then you take it. Yeah, that's a win. That's gotta. Yeah, be a win. this is a win. Well, a win against a normal person. Maybe Stockfish finds something crazy, but no, it's a theoretical win, of course. Yes. Okay. If they're split now, if they're F and H, that could be a draw. I think. But, yeah, they're gonna do some kind of really annoying thing, of course, and walk. Yeah, their no, no practice. It. No, but this is completely winning. I mean, it has yeah. to. Be. Yeah. But you know, you have to prove it. But even against the perfect stockfish, you should be able to win it. But you just have to watch out for like some weird. Of course, they'll come for some insane defense. It'll come with some insane defense. Like there are obviously there are defensive. I've actually had something once where I had the two pawns on the. I think it was g five and h five, and I had like the king and I think it was the king or the rook in front. I think it was the king in front of it, and then he just got stuck in there and he couldn't do anything because they kept on having checks. Or like I, my king was stuck in front of my pawn, something like that. So there are um, weird draw scenarios, and obviously there are stalemating attempts. There are perpetual check attempts. So there may be like maybe they could win one of your pawns, then they hold a draw with only one pawn. But yeah, why don't you just? Uh, I guess today will be the day of just. Yes, today will be the day beating, that we get it. This, okay, beat this thing. <laughs> All right, let's beat this. Let's do this. Dang thing. Okay, so should be just in time actually before my folks. Come. All right, so push. Yeah, it's either push or challenge the rook. Let's well, change the rook. Okay, tell me this. Where do you want your rook to be? Yes, you want to cut off the if you get yeah, that, I want to cut off that king. Let's see what they do. I, I imagine they're gonna go king f7. Let's see what they do. Okay, so he's gonna oh I'm king sorry, king I forgot what he's gonna do. Oh he, yeah, he's gonna yeah, do this. Yeah, you don't want to rook f6. Okay, oh now I told you what to do. But yeah, you push the pawn. Now the only the thing I would wonder too is you have rook h5. No, if you go rook h5, they go king g6. Yeah, why not? Oh, you push, you don't give them. It's don't very hard. it's actually very hard against the top computer to win this, but Obviously, you're going to keep pushing. No, you know what it was? I'll tell you what it was. My rook was in front of the g5 and h5 pawns, and I couldn't move the rook because I would drop oh. something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty okay. sure it was the rook in front. Hey, you can get mated, too, if the king's in front. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> like a like a, a, a sixth rank mate or something. Oh, I have some nightmares yeah. about things like that. Like, yeah, where it was like a, you know, like a, like an end game. And somehow, like, I ended up getting mated by like a pawn or something really embarrassing. Like, I nearly had like a knight. And like a pawn or a bishop, and I had like a billion pieces. Somehow I like got my king two activated, and they got me. But okay, I'll hurry up. Yeah. Um, yeah if, right. you have, if you have three pawns, sometimes there are some puzzles where they get you in a mate with a queen on like the fourth. Say they're on the third rank, your king's on the fourth. Queen. They could have like a back rank. It's like a back yeah. rank yep. in the middle of the board. <laughs> so <laughs> it could be a rook too doing it. All right. So let's see this. Well, we know h five is the best one. Yeah, play. h five definitely. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right. He goes over okay the problem is we keep seeing no how, oh wait how about go that wait wait go back because we keep seeing the move why don't you go back and do the target thing on the bottom now do this thing and then, and then you'll play from here and now oh. we, yeah we were just doing the thing to like oh go, i didn't know we could do that okay sorry yeah but now that we're here we can do that okay yeah this should be good okay so um yeah you could check me all you want dude i'm just gonna you're go gonna hide. yeah you're gonna now you're gonna hide but you're gonna hide yeah now i get my hide. you're gonna hide much more uh, aggressively because you're gonna be in front of your pump and i hit the target again uh, it should keep going, yeah. Press oh, he's that. thinking. Is he thinking? He's finally. Um, we press it again. No, here we go. Okay. Uh, you keep I just pressing it every time, or what? Oh, maybe when you took off the evaluation, maybe just leave the evaluation on. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll hurry this up. Okay. So. Um... That's fine. But now um... we're at the critical. Yeah, you just don't want to blow it. <laughs> just uh, I would. Yeah. <laughs> just don't like... blow it. No, no, but you got it. I wouldn't have done that. I mean, don't I worry about. Oh wait, it's telling you the moves though. Wait, hold on. Can you? Yeah. Wait, take that thing off. Can you wait? If you press this again, what's going to happen with that? I'm just trying. I'm not trying to. Wait, why is it? Okay, it's not showing you the best moves. Okay, good. Let's just see. Worst comes to worst, every move you might have to keep pressing it. I think it should keep going. Okay, so I don't want to blow it. So probably push G. Yeah. Yeah, they, they can't stop you. And then the only thing is you just want to avoid any uh, perpetual. Now, track. yeah, so now I would definitely track. like. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That should work. Okay. You might have to adjust your rook a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Now the thing is, how do you make pro? Oh, now it's well. The thing is, what happens a lot of times is when stockfish is completely losing, it makes like <laughs> it doesn't understand weird. what it. It doesn't understand a move that would bother a human, you know. <laughs> um, so that would make it harder for a human. It just knows that like that it's losing, so it makes bad moves anyway. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, just press. Exactly. I think so. 
I don't see any problem there. Just keep going. Yeah, keep going. No, no, no uh, secret there. Well, actually, well, let's see. Yeah, why not check them? That was correct. Now the question is, how do you just keep? Yeah, exactly. You can block again, but you replicate the scenario on the next rank. Yeah, he can't do anything. You're replicating the scenario. Yeah, there's no. I mean, this is just. It doesn't matter what the strength is because you just need to play the right moves, okay. and you should be able to play the like good enough moves. Now that here's the question. Do you keep pushing or do you wait? Mm. No, here's the thing. You have to watch out for stalemates. Right. Okay. But I don't think they do have this. No, they don't have a stalemate. Okay. Keep looking at this. If you okay. just push. Yeah. Okay. I'm with that. Wait. You just push. push. Is there a stalemate or no? No, Maybe no, no. I don't want to push. Maybe. You don't have time to abandon the back rank. No, then he checks me. Eh. Uh -huh. Wait, no, I don't want to push. I want to push my G one somehow. But I don't know if I can. Is it? No. What do I do? Oh my God. Okay. Come on. No, yeah, if you push, they have to go in the corner and you go to H6. Is that winning? Oh no, it's not winning. Uh, oh no. Come on. Damn it. No, see, that's what I'm saying. My stalemate, right? Yeah. Not, oh, okay. Okay. Because okay. here's what they do. What they're going to do is they're going to hang the rook. Right. So we got to look out. That's crazy though. So we got to look out for that. Okay. Let's go. Wow. Back. Yeah. At that point. Yeah. But like, I bet you a lot of us would do that, right? Yes. And wait, like if I'm not thinking, that's what I'm to ask. Well, I'm just going to find out if it's a stalemate first, but it was a stalemate. But I, honestly, I wasn't even thinking about rook a6. Well, you got it. Here it says it's a draw too. No, that's the draw. That's the draw because. Oh, okay. We got to go back take, more. If you don't take, because you can't check them. So, okay, fine. You swing. Okay. You okay. do a waiting move. Fine. Okay. And then you, I guess it's that you have to use your pawns. Let's see. Okay, but I'll be right there. Okay. What? I'll be right there. Yeah, it wants to, yeah, it looks like just going back and pushing your pawn, maybe. Or rook b5. Oh, it wants you to be able to shield and then I'm pretty sure it wants you to push your g pawn. So go but back even here. So it's not that oh, shield and then push. Let's see. All right, shield. He's just gonna chill. Back. That seems fine. And, and the thing is, you don't need to rush at all. But you know that that's, that's cool. That's the thing. Yeah, the stupid, yeah, the leading. computer like always rushes. But okay, okay. Yeah, I think yeah. I, I so definitely your got that. lead and then you cover. But that was tricky. Yeah. You, we had to see the stalemate. I, I I wasn't looking at it yet. And then we put, wait, hold yeah. on. They get oh, the sorry. check, but it doesn't matter because we shield again. It's kind of like Lucena's, Lucena's position was sideways <laughs> in a way. But the point is you're using your rook as a shield. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then we went, and then it's game over. Yeah, now we got it. Right. Now we finally, finally, finally got it. I know it took like a million hours. I'm thank you so much That's for your time. For this. And you got him. I know you got him. This is super oh, awesome. Okay, okay, but oh, oh perfect timing. Yeah, grandma over there. Okay. 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 Have a great awesome. Time. Okay, awesome. So I'll post this one, and the next time we'll do game analysis. Okay, great. Yeah, thank I'm you so much, now. David. I appreciate your again. time. Oh no, no, absolutely, but um yeah and then maybe try you don't even need to do it on the highest level you know no just i want to keep practicing at this reason. level because it's 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 useful like i was able to get like a, I won't, i'll talk to you i'll talk to you next you time it. yeah you did it no you yeah. did it no you did it you did it you helped me but it's insane you got it now awesome work thank you so much yeah okay, have a great weekend thank weekend. you bye